we got them, we were all petting them and deciding which names. Well, that was, took well, like five seconds. Daddy was no. like, Jacob, what do you want to call them? And it's like immediately whiskey. Well, I guess that wasn't the story. I don't have any stories then. Was that the story? Yeah. I mostly just feed him and take him out in the morning. I, I go with him to take him out, but I don't walk him or anything. I don't do much. If it's a three-year-old, he just goes boom, boom, and barks. No, he won't. Well, no, he's really nice to children, like to children like us. But like, no, if it's a three-year-old, then he once ate a chocolate no, bar that was clothes, and he unwrapped it with his teeth and he ate it all. That's how smart he is. He also has a good digestive system. Chocolate's supposed to be bad for dogs. Didn't make him sick at all. I don't really think a dog needs to be able to do tricks and stuff. I believe a dog should like be able to be free. If he could talk, that'd make a big difference. Not just that, but I want to know what he's feeling. Like, yeah. like when you go to the dog park and there's lots of dogs there, like on his plate, you know I'd love that. to hear the voice of every dog, like the bulldog's voice, really low. And nice. If he just wants to go outside, or if he actually has to go to the bathroom, you could say, Mommy, I need to go to the bathroom now. You can take me. Well, it's pretty clear when he has to go to the bathroom. He'll go to the door and be like, sort of start Yeah, to but what if he just wants to see the sun? That's true. I'll be like, Julian, I just want to hug Whiskey for a second. But then, then he doesn't hug me. Ski never hugs me. That's why I want to hug him when Jacob, when he's hugging Jacob. And actually sometimes when I hug him while Jacob's hugging him, he actually licks me and stuff. So I can sort of tell that he wants me more right then. If we're like really sad, like then we like just sit down and cry on the couch or something and he'd come up and stuff. So it does help if like you're sad. And I, I I quite love whiskey too. So. Me too. If we're all upstairs, he'll be upstairs. And if we're all on this floor, he'll be on this floor. If we're all downstairs in the basement, then he'll be downstairs in the basement. He likes being with the family. He's also very needy. Like we need to put out his food. We need to take him for walks. We've gone camping before, and he's needed to go poo, and my dad would be like, just go poo, you can go anywhere in the nature. But he needs my dad to just walk him around, even though he, like, he's not even on leash. So he really depends on us. Sometimes it sort of annoys me, because, I don't know, like, you have to, we have to go take the dog out, we have to do this. I sort of liked it last year when we went to France, we didn't bring him. I still spend a lot of time with him. I don't see how getting older would really affect it. Maybe because then we'll have like a lot of teenager friends and we'll want to go out more I for friends. And we'll want to throw parties with our mom and dad knowing. Um, and I, whiskey not being a part of it. I hope that he lives for one of the longest dogs. I hope he'll live to like at least a hundred.